When they first take you through the door, you come face to face with St. Lazarus, who seems to be reaching out to you. Uh, I will set him down in one of the little comfy chairs. A good chair, if you will. Not on this leg. It does not look good. Down, 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 come up please. against a wall, then, or whatever. Whatever we can manage to take his You're probably going to have to get him I'd, into I'd, the back of the store. I'd like the aisle there. <laughs> uh-huh. Because of how, we're limping him to the very long yeah. Day. Because of how close together these shelves are, like you actually have to turn sideways and. Oh, sk- it, I'm telling you, this is a this is a health code. This, bl- this fire code. This is a fire hazard. Yeah. Not to mention all the loose nails and. Yeah, it's not a. It's not a good place. Hmm. You take him down the widest aisle, which no is the front. No violation met, met a fire code problem. Sure, that's a bleed on anything. Yeah, no, you, you take him down the widest aisle, which is the one that leads to the back. Um, leads to the, you know, where the cashier typically would be. Um, you get to the... You get to the behind the counter, and there's like a, a small area that's comfortable. So. Um, Levi... Do you... I'm going in. Okay. You hear that god awful. <laughs> you hear the dragon's breath. As soon as you get him situated in a way that's not going to hurt him, you hear it go off again. Have you seen Papa? Like... It's like an eight foot tall black man and it's Okay, not just checking. No, I have it's hard to miss. <laughs> I didn't know if that... Like, you had the old dude, right? <laughs> I didn't know if you were talking about him. Anyway, no. Considerably. No. Old. That's legit. <laughs> no. I haven't seen him. I just came in here to see. Like, it looked like there can was a problem. Can you babysit? Problems. Yeah, I can babysit. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to go babysit. Apparently. Places with her and go back to babysitting her shop. Okay. So you're going uh, back to your store? Yeah, they got this. Okay. As you're going to die. <laughs> Woo hoo. I got thrown All right. Car. So as you're walking you're out. Walk it off. As you're walking out, a highly no blood in the system, finger yeah. recently cut off. It's that looks bad. Daniela is out. She the looks door. like she's been drugged backwards yeah. through a hedge. Yeah. Oh yeah, and also just crawled out of the <laughs> sewers. I'm not gonna ask because yeah. it ain't my business. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not gonna like touch you. They're waiting for you in the back. Because is there anything to eat around here? I don't want to it's anything to be honest. But I almost ate a tourist. I don't want to. I don't want to eat a tourist. Thanks for um, that. But I'll sit here. You know, we've been like, drinking. Raw moral support. You seem a little out of sorts. Get in here. <laughs> no. I mean, the moral arms. I saw you at the thing. Again, like time. you're because that's how you. Oh, Levi. Oh, and and this thing? one. This one is also going to be part of this meeting. Come on back. I guess I'm See, hosting Levi's, a thing. I mean, Levi's I don't. I'm, I don't. So, no, I, yeah. don't, I haven't I'm been drinking, calm. but I had a bit of a problem. Okay. Big problem. And she's going to just kind of push her <laughs> through the door and close it and go back to her. Because this is how you teach younger people to deal with their smaller inconveniences. I will be across the street if anything serious happens. Mm. Yeah, no, none of y'all are my babies. I'm, but I'm so sorry. Just <laughs> walk the fuck off. Like, this is not even what... You, come back here. I need you to keep an eye on him. <laughs> and you keep an eye on her, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um... <laughs> Look, I can see I, I his foot's pointing in the wrong direction. Places. If there's even a speck of blood out and about around him, you don't want me anywhere near him. Fair. Fair. Okay. Yeah, I need to stay so, all the way away from him. I think the worst part about the Paul situation is that he still has a lingering scent of burning flesh. Ooh, yummy. Where he was branded this evening. Hey, Gordurs. 
Okay. No, um, it's it's sickening. It's the idea oh of Lord. burning kindred flesh. Okay. Bro, you smell really bad. And um, I now have this some... one comes in and smells worse. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what is with y'all tonight? I got freaking <coughs> snagged by a Nosferatu, okay? What, a Nosferatu? What? Yeah, he cut off my finger. No, what? Okay? <laughs> You're just like making up animals, okay? So, like, okay. <laughs> this is not stuff that we talk about in public. Anarch or Camarilla? I'm going to freaking guess Camarilla, considering he was saying the prince no longer is out and keeping him on a leash. There's a lot of that. And the hounds! Like, that, I like, am 90% still. Sure. Okay, look, still, we're like in public. Okay, customers could come in. Granted, there is the friendly little guy, so. But anyway, you seriously, you, okay, let's all just. just so Hold on, hold on. Let me just, like, channel. No kidding, Sherlock! Okay, <laughs> like, you breathe. You kind of hollow. Breathe. Like, I've seen force it. yourself <laughs> to do the breath thing. Don't, not you. You look hungry. I don't know. Just, I can't. I can't even with that. <laughs> Do you have a phone? I have a phone. Checks pockets. <laughs> Good. Please call 978-555-7362. Tell Tommy where we are. Tell him he needs to come here. You have it. You have your phone. Yeah. You look at it when you when you look at it you see the date. You realize that you've been gone. You completely missed all of Sunday. Yeah. I say if she wasn't already pay about as pale as you can get, she'd go pale. <laughs> so. Let me do you a favor. Please dial 978-555-1863. Extension 654. And the word is apostle. Who am I calling? Just say apostle when you get through to the extension. Okay, real quick, times. I have to get this phone shit straightened out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got Hattie who called Tommy. See, I never yeah. knew that that happened oh, first. Like, I never got a positive ID on that. Okay, I didn't have a chance to get yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay. Who is... Levi I'm also, also Tommy. Tommy. Because I didn't so get Tommy's a Tommy's about to have his phone blown the fuck <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. There's a couple minutes in between mm -hmm. stuff. So. And this is an extension within the circulatory system. Okay. What exactly are you doing? I am trying to get something, someone shipped down here before that one diabolizes my non-walking ass. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Touche. Uh, I'm <laughs> tapping a herd influence. <laughs> okay. If you're gonna diabolize someone, don't do the thin blood. All right. <laughs> At this stage, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> All right. Let's handle this in order real quick. Hattie calls. Mm -hmm. Does not get an answer. At all. You call. Mm. You get an answer after like the eighth or ninth ring. Do you wait that long? Yeah, I mean, I got nothing better to do. I'm asking because it's your character. <laughs> they yeah, didn't I pick mean, up after the first like, ring so far. Yeah, but the thing is, if I'm on the like, if I'm doing this phone thing, I don't have to do anything else with him, and he smells really bad. So does that one. I don't even want to be here, but at least, like, I'm going to hang out on the phone. I'm just waiting. Can't even. Why did I come here? Why? All right. You just checked on the store. I'm muttering all this into he the phone. Hello? Uh, hello? Tom? Tommy? Yeah. Who's this? I. Levi. This is Levi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how'd Where? you get this number? Uh, your. This old man? This old man gave me this number? You got. You got my grandfather? Uh, that's your grandfather? Yes. Okay, he's kind of broken. He's got a jacked Where? up leg. Uh, top hat? Top hat. Okay. Cool. Not that. He, like, just got dumped here. Alright, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Okay. I didn't do this. You call. You get an answering service, like a machine. You say your thing. Apostle? And it beeps three times and then asks you to input an address. What's the address here? Damn fine now. There's cards Google. out front. Yeah. Oh. 
find a car. Okay. You sh- sure this is... I, I input the address. Okay. Mechanical voice pops up. You entered. And it says the address. If this is correct, please press 1. Stab. <laughs> Your location is nine and a half miles away. Your delivery will be there in 15 minutes. And then it hangs up. You arrive at the car lot in Fulton. You get there. Janice is high. She seems distracted. She didn't offer you a drink. Yeah, look at She's it. not even really she she literally looks up and goes oh hey um he's in the office Are you okay my um my cousin's in the hospital and my grandfather's missing it was like do you need me a break i don't know find out let me know as soon as johnny wakes up Johnny's one of the guys you work with. That's part of your crew. Let me know what I can do. And uh, you found out recently that if her brother is Tommy, then her grandfather is Paul. Gotcha. Knock themselves <clears throat> office. Yeah, get in here. Let myself in. Oh, hey. Okay. Didn't realize you were coming. I thought you were somebody else. What's up? Uh, that thing with the princess kid. It's been it's been uh, settled. Yeah. 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 Hand delivery or dust buster? Actually, uh, from what I understand, they they got the stake removed. Impressive. Uh, kind of helps when somebody within the family knows is a Misi. Really? You got a fucking flesh crafter in there? Ugh. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah. That's, that's nasty. Hey, but at least they repaired the damage. Alright. Uh, whatever. Anything, I would have taken my chance with the tweezers. But and anything else from here, whatever happens, it's not our problem. Yeah. I guess. But, yeah. Flesh crafters just freak me out. So, uh, is that it? Uh, just let you know I'm off the hook until about till two. So if anything comes in, let me know. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be giving you double work, but all right. Hey, you know I'm always good for it. Yeah. So uh, just to let you know, Johnny's out of commission for a bit. I heard something happened with Paul. Ah. I, I don't know. Yeah, apparently they can't find him. I don't know. I'll be completely fucking honest with you. If it wasn't for her sniveling out there, I wouldn't give a fuck. Gotcha. Alright. You know how to reach me if you need me. Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I am investigating the shelves and staying as far away from these two as I can. Okay. While still being, you know, being able to be aware that they're, like, not dead yet. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I watch that one. Like a mouse with a broken leg and a burnt <laughs> arm watching a cat <laughs> that clearly hasn't eaten for a week and is covered in sewage. Good plan. Good plan. <laughs> that is missing a finger. Luckily, you're not bleeding. No, the finger's no, back on. No, the finger's there. Oh. It's just not working quite right. Yeah. It doesn't... It's the wrong color. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't... Look, you two both had a hell of a night. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> After, like I said, around it's ten minutes or so... the shop. You haven't seen anybody. Yeah. Including Benny? <laughs> you're, including Benny. Um, your phone. You're going to get a text message. I'm looking at it. It's from the number he told you. Okay. Um, it says that your package is incoming. They're probably going to come out back. Tipping is not customary. Okay. 
Oh, and I'm going to also send a text to Peter. Are you okay? What are you talking about? You get a text back instantly. What are you talking about? Weird night. Making sure all clear your side. Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Carry on. (laughs) Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to head round, head to the back door then. Okay. Which will involve walking right past him. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah, just... The back door is cracked. Watching through the crack. Um... What does he mean by package incoming? Just that they're around the corner? If they said package incoming, don't stand in the middle of the alley. Okay. Seriously, stand to the side. I'm standing inside the store still, thank you. <laughs> Crack the door open, look a little bit more. Um, Whistler is there. Oh. Leaning against the wall, smoking a cigar. Wondered where you were. Hi, sorry. Wonder where you were. You look like shit. I feel like it too. It's been a. I lost Sunday. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen to me often, and I am slightly amused. <laughs> um, as you're having this conversation with Whistler, though, you start hearing this buzzing sound. And did you look up? <laughs> I'm glad you looked up. Um, I like that nine times out of ten, you hear a buzzing. It's a drone. There's, a, yeah, a pr- quite sizable drone, which is coming down with a large package and spotlight, robotic noise or robotic voice identify. Ah. Uh. Then identify code oh, apostle. <laughs> it comes down lower. <laughs> <I> go, <laughs> it comes down lower, touches the ground, unlatches, flies off. Nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen for nine 15 miles. Feet. Fifteen for nine miles. Yes. Fair drone delivery. How big is this package? It's a uh, it's a it's a pretty good size box. Like about eighteen inches um, square. A little, little bit bigger than that. Probably pizza about box. as big around as that pizza box. Pizza box but size. like but deep. But deep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm beeline to do and open it up. And all about this much is all packaging peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, you uh, you get the cardboard open fairly easily, and it's solid styrofoam. Mm-hmm. When you open it, like a um, cooler, lid pops off, and that steam from the dry ice pops up, and uh, there are, in fact, six blood bags inside. Yeah, I just pull it over to one side, just the quickest of glances to make sure there's no randos, and I'm going for one, guys. Yeah, there's nobody back here. This is a dirty back alley. Concrete mm-hmm. ground, couple no here of old brown, dirty <laughs> vines growing up the chain link fence behind. Yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm just going for one. Mm-hmm. So, and it doesn't taste good, but it's. I'm used it's to it. There, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you usually get to take the time to at least heat them up. Though. Yeah, I'm not bothering. <laughs> it's a little thicker than usual. It's yeah. gonna do the. It's, it's gonna do like the cold gravy. Yes, it's like cold. <laughs> <laughs> Best description ever. Yes, it's yeah, like cold. Sad, that wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what she's going to be busy with for a bit until okay. she's feeling better, <laughs> or at least less frazzled. He <laughs> is going to step forward. And he's going to go pick one up. I need you to roll a composure yeah. plus resolve check as he reaches for one. And you're a scary little raccoon in a trash. Yeah. 
<laughs> so that's composure. Okay, so that is four successes and a pair of ones. Okay. You <laughs> succeed. Yeah. You really only need one for this. Yeah. But he reaches down, and there is that instant primal <laughs> Yeah, there's look. a... <laughs> <laughs> and he'll look at you with... A level of amusement. It's a little disarming. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> kidding. Fine. <laughs> he takes one of them. And he was gonna walk in. He's gonna just walk inside and leave you out there. <laughs> to huddle over your bag blood in the alley. So uh, he takes one, goes inside. And uh, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. He's just suddenly next to you. With a bag of blood holding it out. Your pizza's here. Drones. I'm impressed. Apparently. I thought they were still using the vans. Are you okay? I've had much, much, much better days. Are you able to fix that? He looks down at your leg. Levi would be wandering over upon hearing him having entered. I don't really think so. The way he talks and acts around you, he... He he has a very strong family vibe. He grabs your hand and looks at it. That's still tender. Is this accurate? I mean, Moon doesn't have a hold in it. They branded you Duskborn. Thin blood. Okay, I did. Yeah, that one. You were eating. And you're having trouble healing. Putting two and two together here, I'm thinking that they actually might be right about this. You might actually need medical attention, Paul. Yeah, I kind of figured. Most of us don't. I heard that. We might be able to do something with you. Hattie actually is fairly well trained. Well, she went back to her place. I'm not surprised. What happened? Camarilla. I would assume with the burn. <sighs> I hate to say it, but the two princes that I've been privy to lately around here don't tend to do that. They don't seem to be too thrilled with us lately. We're walking a very thin line. We don't want to break this treaty, but we can't allow the things that are happening to go unanswered. I'm glad you see it that way. There's a certain level where if you lack any modicum of respect, it's simply unlivable from that point on, regardless. Who did this? <sighs> Who did this or who's responsible? Who's responsible? Someone in the family told him. Who did this? Made in no disrespect, but I'd like to have a word with them personally before I start naming names. Okay. Do what you need to do. Thank you. He's going to walk out into the front. Levi, thank you for watching them. I honestly didn't do that much. You stayed. You didn't have to. Uh, I appreciate it. You do have a lot of cool stuff here, though. So. He's going to pick up his phone. I'm going to dial Hattie's number. Yeah. Paul is going to need some medical attention. You want me to come set his leg? Either you or I have to take him to a hospital, and I'm not sure how well that's going to go over. He can't heal. Oh, are you serious? He's a thin blood, Hattie. All right, well, I'll come and once him over, but honestly, like, he's going to walk with a limp if it doesn't get set right. It's a 
good thing you know how to set things oh, right. Gee, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You're going to get a phone call. <laughs> well, pick up. This isn't Sal's phone. It's your regular cell phone. Okay. Hello? Lorenzo. Yes. This is Whistler. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. We have family who are not. Uh, yes, I heard Paul was missing. Paul is found. Okay. I'm judging by the tone of voice that uh, he wasn't found in good condition. Two of our family members have been attacked. Who am I going after? That is a good question. But I may very well take you up on your services for that. Can you meet us at Top Hat? Of course. It's going to be a tight fit. And how do you come on in with her little God off gong sound. Yeah. <laughs> Get used to it. Oh. And <laughs> it's just this little tiny black iron set of like three triangles, one on top of the other. <laughs> but like when the little gong inside hits it, it just reverberates so freaking badly. And Levi rejoices every Every time. single time. So much better than those <laughs> dainty little brass pinnacle <laughs> wind chimes you usually have hanging up in your store. You still in the back? He's Dad. back there. Yeah, he is. Dan's coming back in about now, I reckon. Yeah. Dan <laughs> looks a extra. lot better. While I'm heading out to uh, Top Hats, All right, mm-hmm. I'm texting Janet that Paul's been found. In- Checking on condition now. Just hang on to it. She texts uh, back, oh, thank God, please the keep me posted. Out here. Is there a sink where I can get the worst of the slime off my hair? He points over <laughs> to a mop sink. That'll do. <laughs> she's she's got to do her best to get cleaned up in the sink. Just the worst. Whistler is going to flip the open sign over to close. <laughs> Lock the doors. I should have been done a while ago. I'm gonna. Levi is watching the tragedy (laughs) of Dan trying to clean off in a sink, and he is so appalled (laughs) that he will extend the courtesy of returning back to my own shop where I have plenty of products to help you get back to. Wait, wait a minute. Dan's taking a hobo bath. Then she's trying to get the an the, the sludge out of her hair. <laughs> like she's mm, yeah. You're gonna bring in some of your artisan create mage soaps and some clothes and things. Look, like that. if you want to like, artisan if you really want to clean mean, up, I have good. a shower back at my shop because we used to have like a yoga studio or whatever. So, like, I really don't want you to, but it would do us all a favor. Like, go take a real shower. I, I have some, like, goat-based soap. Goat milk? Yeah, that's it. I think that's what... <laughs> goat one hopes goat it's the milk. <laughs> you say, you gotta that's melt what? down the whole goat. I don't know. Oh, goat keeps, smells pretty damn bad. Alba I mean. keeps ordering all of these new things, and I, it doesn't smell like a goat, though. Right now, though, you smell like a goat, and please, we cannot do this all night, okay? Just, my shop's right there. Just come take a shower. And we'll come right back. Anything to change in? Anybody have anything to change in? Oh, I have all kinds of things for you to change in. What the hell did you people get into? Hmm. (sighs) Look, I've spent... How about... Go take care of yourself. I'll tell you when I get back. Yes. (laughs) I'll tell you when I get back. Should we let this one out of our sight? I feel like you should have an attendee. I mean, gotta show well, me where it sounds like is. Levi is going to be the one taking. Yeah, I mean, Perfect. I'm taking her. I mean, if anybody like, else wants a lot to better. tag along, whatever, I guess. I have to re-break his leg. Yeah. See, and I don't really want to be here for that. No, you so, don't really come on, that. let's... Okay. Yeah. I'm tag along. I'm going to shower you. I'm here for that. Can I go, too? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might not have you to don't. do it if you stand up just the right way. And the whole, the, the short walk, like, it's, what, like a block or something to my Less shop? Less than that. The walk to the shop <laughs> is going to be Levi nonstop chattering about, well, do you prefer eggshell or blanc 
Or do you like a nice cream? How about ivory? For a shirt? What are you for? Just, <laughs> just preferences, darling. Preference. Okay. What? Okay. What about a black coat. versus like a noir, a charcoal? <laughs> or what am I picking colors for? Well, we have to dress you, obviously, and we can't be gone forever, so we might as well make palette decisions on the way. Back at the other store, we're going to have to do a leg setting. Do I have permission to put my hands on your body? Mm, Yes. Okay. Let's do this shit. This is going to be a strength plus medicine roll. I got this shit. As you scream in pain as the pop happens, as your leg gets reset. Ah! That's around the same time that Tommy is being let into the store. You scream loud enough to to, to, to drown out the sound of that dragon's breath. <laughs> this is why men don't have the babies. This is why. Tommy comes rushing into the back. Oh my god, are you okay? I'm fine, thank you. Got over here pretty quick. Keep him off of it. What the hell happened? Tommy. Mm. Tommy. Where's John? At the hospital with Moses. Okay. How is John? Drained almost completely. He's at the hospital suffering from severe anemia at the moment. It's going to take a while to get back. I don't mean to get involved in everybody else's business, but why did you and Danielle both come in here looking like you lost a fight? And now someone else is in the hospital? Yeah, it wasn't much of a fight. I was set up. How much we talking? How much? How much are we talking freely right now? I don't know. This isn't my place. But it's a family place. Okay. Now I'm not even going to send him a bill for that leg. <laughs> I do have insurance. The fucking Tory door did this. The fucking Tory door did this. Over what? Oh... That situation. Well, see, now. Careful who y'all jump into bed with. This is my fucking fault. No, it's not. The bed kind of jumped on top. No, it's... It's not your fault that people are bad people. They attacked him because he got embraced. It's not like he had a choice in it. They attacked because someone told him. Someone in the family. Who? Who? She said, say thanks to Sonny Black for her. You don't really think he would do that, do you? The cam's always conniving little shits. It would be just their way to try and drive us apart as much as they could. Now, wouldn't it? I want to talk to Sonny. I'll open up the door. Whistler yeah. is at the front counter going over some books. And he okay. just uh, points to the back room. Gotcha. Thank you. When you walk in, Tommy looks over and there's this note of hostility on his face. As soon as you walk in. Paul is laying on a couch... His leg recently set. He's got the thin blood symbol burnt into his hand. Would my character even know what that means? He doesn't go to camp meetings. Yeah, probably not. He's got he's got a scorch. He's got a circle that's burnt on one side and not on the other. Holy shit, Paul. What the fuck happened to you? I think they hit me with a baseball bat to the leg. I didn't quite see that was behind me. Who's this? They strapped me to a table with a hole in the ceiling. They did that with the sun? (laughs) They wanted to. Fuck them all. They had to do it themselves. The door goes again. (laughs) 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Put fuck is John that? in the hospital, apparently. They tried and I don't even know what they did to... Where'd, where'd Levi... I think... We would be sure, real. Yeah, we right just now. walk in. Um, <laughs> I just that. Dan is now dressed in. Oh, gosh, what oh, have you picked for Dan? Well, let's hear it. In ivory totally. and eggshell houndstooth asymmetrical cashmere on top. <laughs> and a black utility kilt style kilt on the bottom. Matters. And whatever shoes. That she already had. Cool. Hi, I'm sorry. I was really invested in whatever the hell was going on in the fashion <laughs> realm. Sorry. How many successes did you get on the medicine roll? It matters. Was it three? You I got three. three I got successes. Three. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to being able to heal, like with medical attention, the success count actually matters on what he can do. Should I have done a better job? Mm. Well, I mean, it's well, always too late now. No, no, no. Listen, this is new. It's always, blood it's stuff, always like, better to do a better job. You, you, know? you put it back the direction it goes, and then the vampire heals it. I don't know what this issue is. Honestly. All right, so those two walk in. Now the party can really get started. All right, so. Uh, I'd kind of do it. Why is he here? I was told to come out here. You're not... Are you still working... Bodyguard for... Him? Technically... I am. Okay, then. It's been a lovely evening. She will... Not so gently slam past you as she struts out the door. Try not to die! Whistler... Stops you on your way out. Oh, what? What? I told him to keep working, to keep an eye on him. But that doesn't mean I have to be social, does it? Yes. Why? Because we all need to be kept in the loop. Look, people are getting the crap beat out of them just for talking to certain people. And I don't mind setting a leg here and there, but I do not want my ship burned or trashed or be run out of town. And you know how they move. This is our territory. It's not going to make... Unless we keep it. I don't see how we're going to keep it by just being buddy-buddies with everybody, like I said. No, oh, no, we're past that now. They've actively attacked us. And they're going to keep actively attacking us. It's never going to stop. They branded him. They branded that old man. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. And how's you leaving going to help? <laughs> what are you, five, six weeks old? Don't tell me about struggling, what's easy and what's hard. You don't know how hard it's going to be. How is leaving going to help? I just don't want to be sitting in the middle of it when people are getting the crap kicked out of them. But if oh, it makes right everybody on, feel it. better, we can all sit together and we can all get the crap kicked out of us. What was the old saying? Hang together or hang separately? Who attacked you? Nosferatu. Um, Munroth. That was the name he gave. Munroth. Yeah. What the hell does Munroth have against you? And the Nosferatu have a lot against her. Yeah. Apparently, I kind of ran off one of his kids. Um, I... Look, I apparently really, really annoyed a bunch of Nosferatu while I was, before I was. If Crow dead. hadn't embraced Dan, then the ivory tower would have killed her. He said he was really looking forward to it. Munroth puts on a good act of being polite and gentle. But he's a... He's a killer. He's a psycho. You don't have to tell me twice he cut off my finger! Look, it's still not right. You're lucky he cut off just your finger. He was gonna keep going! I just... He left you alive to toy with you. Yes, that is exactly what he said. So we're not done with Monroe. No, 
I'm not done with my girl. He yeah, said he let's and all hang out. He and his hounds don't have anything that they're being told to do, so they now have a new toy, as he said. He looks past you through the doorway. Paul. Sir. Mr. Milliner. I hear you saying that someone in the family gave them information, but I still don't know who they are. Not the information giver. Obviously, you have a reason of holding that fight. Who did this? Not who's responsible. Anna Roma and her goons. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of time Hmm. to memorize faces while they were having their fun. The first one was hollow-cheeked and whatever other descriptions I got out Yeah, I think I just got that. Then the other one was, uh, it looked like da 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 The other guys, the other one he describes is pretty much just built like a brick wall. The... One that hits you sounds like a bruja by the name of Rhino. Yeah, why do I know that? Rhino's been around for a while. He's one of the uh, prince's coterie. Billy Smith. You were attacked. Why, Paul? Because now that I'm Hikata, they can't do the deal with me, and they're very disappointed. But they branded you as a thin blood. Oh, yeah. That hang after the leg. I'm going to say this as kindly I as I can, Paul. You're not technically Hikata. You're a thin blood. I think it's Bogo. Which means that whatever happens to them in reference to what they did to you has no fall on us. Yeah. If we take the proper channels. Sounds like the Thin Bloods need to hear about this. There's more? Oh, yes. There's more. Three that I know of in the city. And uh, they know others. Billy Smith had an arrangement with them. Uh, their leader goes by the name of Teeny. She, uh, she basically has, Thin Bloods don't have any representation within the Camarilla, but she is effectively the representation to the Camarilla. They've worked out feeding rights, pretty much everything that the standard clans get to. Teeny, yeah. like Teeny's Bar and Social Club, LLC. In the Pearl District, yes. There's her. There's uh, Michael. Her bodyguard. Her uh, bouncer. And there's one other, but I don't know him personally. So this wasn't related? Doesn't sound like it. No, he was asking why the Giovanni were poking around the build site. That's what I told them. They don't know that. They do now. No, no. That's the point of letting the Giovanni stay the point, stay the face, so uh, they don't know yeah. about the Hikata thing. They know about the Hikata thing now, don't they? Yeah. I don't blame you. I don't. You're not in any trouble for it. It's just not something that we were I prepared to talk my to them about. Damn mouth shut. Okay. They didn't know I was a thin blood at first. They figured that out. How? Well, Hollow Cheeks stabbed me. Said it was like water. Did he taste it? Yeah. And Aroma has a Tremere. Oh, great. Spitballing. Um, Because they said Hikata first. Did they? Yeah. It's, they broke my leg. 
And then she stood on my chest and told me the deal was off because I was a kata and yada, 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 and how very disappointed she was in me. She didn't really think that one through. When you're standing on someone's chest, you can tell exactly what they're wearing. But anyhow. Or she doesn't care. Or she likes it. Then came the stabbing and the branding. So they attacked you specifically because you were us. And then I got. And then the, you got branded got because you were thin special. Let's see. All right. Does anyone? Does anyone here have business relationships with anyone in the ivory tower? Up until two days ago. Was two days, right? I know you do. Yeah. But that's, right now, it's only being kept for the sake of the Hakata. All right. The New Orleans district is now on full lockdown when it comes to Camarilla. We're going to set up guards at the entry points. You'll Wraiths. Tunnels, too, for sure. Cause yes. When I found my way out of the tunnels, I came out almost under the voodoo donut. They attacked you here? Here. Yeah, I got a text from my friend about that said to meet up because he'd found some more information. I'm pretty sure that text actually came from one Roth now. He, I saw my friend. We were supposed to meet at the Voodoo Donut. I walked to the side of the store to talk to him, you know, down to the little alleyway. And it wasn't him. Who can raise the dead? Uh, can anyone in this room raise the dead? Um, aggressively. Aggressively. No. Shambling hordes, you mean? Or yes. I can. I'm going to need your help. Yeah, I, I do go. We're going to fill the sewers. I would highly suggest that all of you, not that I think that you would, but all of you stay out of the sewers. Yeah. I'm going to need to talk to Crow. We're going to need a smart one. I need a general. I need a lot of bodies for this. We'll talk to Valentina. Yeah. They don't have to be fresh. We fill the sewers with solids. We fill the streets with vapors. And we keep every last ivory tower kindred out of the New Orleans district. Not warning destruction. I want every kindred who does not belong to the Hikata who steps foot in our domain torn to shreds. I'm going to reach out to Merrick. He's still in town. I'm going to let him know to tell the Anarchs to be aware also because they're not going to be to tell, able to tell the difference. We're going to war. Whistler is going to ask you a question. How do you feel about your sire? Personally, he, he's scum. But he has given me a lot of work in the past, and I respect. He has. For that. He has definitely kept you in your place. That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> From what I understand, that you have enough respect to be one of the main bosses in the city. If it wasn't for Sal, you would be the head of the poop nest in Portland. Yeah. Are you ready to take that responsibility? If I must. Then don't go back to work. Okay. Because then we're going to have to deal with Sal. Sal, who has never answered when I called. Sal, who has never helped the Hikata when we've not asked them to help. Understood. If Sal is dumb enough 
to take up arms against the rest of the family, then he's going to get what he deserves. 